Hey everybody, we're going to be looking at this really cool app called Music.io today. And it's a way to use uh, your different instruments on your mobile device, your iPhone or your iPad, inside the Logic Session itself. So this is super awesome. It wasn't too expensive, it's just a few dollars, and um, it requires only the USB connection to your computer. Once you have that on, then a couple things will show up. Your phone will look like this. I'm not going to keep the phone screen on the whole time because of the way uh, in order to capture the screen, it, it actually, I need to disconnect it to be able to show you some more things. But the settings look like this for me. Um, you turn them on by clicking on it. And really, in this case, we just need MIDI from, not MIDI to, unless we're using this as a MIDI controller. But here's where the other cool thing is. We can add instruments... Uh, four different ones of them and they'll show you available ones from that list. I just have modular installed right now. So I've got modular installed and this is what modular looks like. And this is a really awesome synthesizer which we can do all kinds of things by clicking and dragging. Um, Let's actually reload that real quick, or just load a different one. Cool. Um, so we'll be able to hear in just a minute and play with it, but I've got this loaded here, and it is inside the me the music I.O. app here and now let's go into Logic and see what we have there. Okay so now that we're in Logic we have a couple different things we have to organize here. Uh, we have to get the plugin loaded in. We go to the website to get the actual server for this. Um, let's see. This is the website and I just went to Scroll down someplace. Hey, right here. So the Mac server for this, it does work with Windows as well. VST as well as audio units. So you could use it in other programs, which is kind of cool. Once I had that down, um, then I opened it up. This is what it looks like when it says it's connected. Here we can choose where the MIDI is going to, in this case through the I.O. virtual connection to the phone if we want to, which we do, because we're going to be uh, assigning this, or controlling the, the actual app on the phone from Logic. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about this. If we're going to monitor it outside of Logic, we might, but we're doing it all through Logic. Okay, once we're in Logic, this shows up as an audio units effect and under music IO we'll use the stereo version that's all we have there and this is what that plugin looks like and you'll see I can't click on anything else here we could turn on an effects loop which would send it out and back through an effect on the actual mobile device um, if we have some issues with buffering, we can increase that. You can see we can choose any of the different uh, of these four places for instruments. So I could add additional instruments up to four for this to run simultaneously. Then the MIDI is going out this right here, Music I.O. Um, now you can, I have at various times used the the network settings here um, to send things back and forth. Let's uh, delete this session for a minute and see if it's going to work. So it works fine. Um, but I have used this as well. If you don't know about this, that'll be a tutorial for a different day. This is under the MIDI Studio, the network settings. You can set it up there, but we don't have to do this in this case because we have this little server set up. So now what this is, this is the actual instrument slot on my instrument channel. We're using the external instrument 
Um, and the reason why I'm using this here, we don't have to. Um, and actually there's a reason to use the MIDI channel instead. But just for demonstration, I have this on here because it allows me to send MIDI to an external destination. That's what I have selected. So now with this here, the external instrument, and by the way, it does do compensation for latency, uh, which is kind of useful going out. So we have the sound coming off of this and the audio effects. And we have the MIDI going out through here. And uh, the instrument on the iPhone is actually what's creating the sound. And I can load up multiple ones of these. Uh, we can program them. We can actually have MIDI recorded in Logic and use those as the sound sources. There's a couple instruments on the uh, iPad that I really like. Uh, and I use them this way, so it adds just another tool in my toolkit. Uh, usually what I'll end up doing, though, is recording these into tracks um, so that I have the audio file for them in the end for the final uh, mix down because there's too many variables, I feel, with some of these. And so I like to make them audio files and then finish the mix that way. Okay, this has just been a quick look at this really cool way to integrate our mobile devices. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.